Okay. Um, so my name is Andrea Schilp. Uh, I'm presenting today um, some insights in the ring mobility solutions, especially with a certain focus on our testing activities and the test system development. Well, first of all, who are we? I think Rank as a brand um, for mobility solutions is quite known um, in the defense sector. Um, nevertheless, from our internal structure, um, we have four competence centers for business units. One is uh, the well-known vehicle mobility solutions. The other one are the marine and industry gearboxes. A third one are slide bearings. And last but not least, um, the test systems. First of all, um, we work as a system integrator, um, so we try to use the competences um, in our different business units to integrate it to a turnkey and customized solution, um, which, for example, makes it clear that we develop test benches for the development of our vehicle mobility solutions, um, specifically designed for subsystems, systems, and even full vehicles. And certainly we try to integrate competence from the slide bearings and the industrial gearbox solutions um, in our test benches to deliver a turnkey solution, which is um, state of the art. In order to achieve a very uh, good connection to our customers worldwide, um, we have internationally a number of sales hubs and service hubs not only sales, but also service, and also at some sites, um, even internationally, especially in the US, um, 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 dedicated uh, production facilities. So, so far for the integration of the rank group, or presentation of the rank group, um, in mobility solutions, um, we deliver mobility solutions for tracked and wheeled vehicles, which means um, that we deliver um, mobility solutions for over 30 armies worldwide. And based on this global footprint, um, we can integrate um, engines, transmissions, suspension solutions, and certainly also the um, respective uh, testing facilities um, out of one hand. I pre warned that I have uh, some parts or some focus on the testing solutions, so let's go into the details. Um, for testing solutions, we are not only serving in the defense sector, but we try to um, serve for um, five different industry segments. Based on this, um, we have a technology shift um, from, for example, even the automotive industry or the truck industry, certainly to the defense sector. And we try to use the um, best out of these different worlds which means that um, we can deliver test systems for research and development, but also for end-of-line testing and certainly for testing um, after service and refurbishment. And based on this, um, we have especially for the integration in the development process um, a dedicated approach in order to close the gap between just doing testing and just doing development and simulation. So what does testing mean today in this context? Um, it's not only um, having a finished system, a developed system, and putting it um, under real-world loads. Um, but for us, testing is the combination and the deep integration in the development process itself, which means that, first of all, we deliver test systems from full vehicle to subsystem and to component level. And the second one is that we want to close the gap between simulation and testing in itself, and we do that by the quite famous buzzword of digital twin, which means that we integrate not, or we have a representation not only of the test bench and the dig digital world, but also certainly the interface to bring in your specimen data, your digital model of your specimen in combination with our specimen. So what does digital twin mean in this context? We have a digital representation of our test bench and your device under test, for example, in an easy representation in MATLAB Simulink. And we have um, an interface which makes it possible to do four different representations of digital twin testing in this connection. One is that, first of all, we have a model-based design. We use that also for us in terms of test bench development. The second would mean that we have a virtual commissioning um, where already we can integrate 
your model, your device under test model um, in our commissioning stuff, which brings down lead time, which um, increases the reliability and certainly the quality of the test benches, and which fosters also the later reproducibility of your um, test results. The third one would be a model-based control, which makes it possible that we not only optimize our controllers based on the virtual commissioning or the real-world commissioning of our test benches, but that we have a dedicated um, adjustment of our controls to your specific um, device under test, your specific specimen, um, also during the real-world application um, of the test bench. So that means that you are in a position that you have an offline optimization of the control. Um, you can do that in the office. Um, you can prepare the full test run and then you bring it to the test bench. And the same is true for the fourth one, which is the pre-simulation tool, um, that you don't not only have the controller itself, but the complete test program, the automatic pro program, which you can pre-configure in the office and bring it together with your specimen directly to the test bench which certainly increases the utilization rate um, of the test bench itself because you're much quicker in the um, uptime um, to bring the specimen on the test bench and start testing. So in order to do so, our objectives are that um, for especially test benches where we quite often on the limits of the physical um, feasibility um, that we foster the quality of the test bench itself but also of the test results in the end that we re reduce your risk in doing tests also with very high loads with very high torques and doing so we save time and money. So how does it look like in different representation of test benches which we can offer? Um, starting with the component test bench here, for example, for a hydro strut from our rank group colleagues of Hostman. Um, we can do that for hydro struts. We can do that um, uh, for the hydro gas um, parts. So this is a po potential test bench for suspension, suspension components for tracked and wheeled vehicles. And we even could integrate here um, active systems and you can simulate real world loads on these hydro stuts in this representation. Um, and you can um, have the complete filling process with oil or nitrogen and you can have a full static, quasi-static or even dynamic tests um, of these components with real world data, um, real world loads which you can apply on that test bench. Based on this, with our RDDS rank dynamic data system and the integration of the digital twin, you can combine this test then with data which you can simulate from your later vehicle or which you can simulate from other suspension components. If we go one step further for wheels, um, here for certainly wheeled vehicles, um, we can simulate different road surfaces, which is certainly a smooth surface, a rough surface, even um, certain impact bars, um, certain um, uh, obstacles on the road, um, which we can bring to two different rollers, and you can test the tire and also the um, run flat uh, body um, of the tire on these different road surfaces, simulating steering angles, simulating normal and load um, on, th on these parts, and um, therefore simulating um, the durability, for example, of the components and the behavior of the wheel tire system and the um, run flat body on different surfaces and under different loads. Even the slip and slip angles, um, you can simulate um, having this mimic of um, adjusting the tire on these, on these test benches. Then certainly coming as a original transmission manufacturer, um, we have different um, transmission test benches here um, for the boxer vehicle. And um, certainly the same is true for transmission testing on um, tracked vehicles. 
But also here, um, certainly you can integrate and not uh, integrate real vehicle data, so not only tests of the gearbox itself, um, but you can also um, increase it for different um, configurations of transmission testing. Um, so you're very flexible in moving around the, the load engines and drive engines. And you can come from a transmission testing to a complete power pack testing um, in preparation for a later vehicle integration. At the top of the V model, um, certainly there is the real world um, implementation of the full vehicle testing. Um, we offer this not only as it is more or less standard for wheeled vehicles, but we can offer this as well for tracked vehicles. For tracked vehicles, um, certainly we need quite specific configurations of um, uh, dynos and the um, a, a certain uh, ad adjustment gearbox in between. Um, but this makes it possible to have very reproducible environments and a very reproducible um, link between component system and full vehicle testing which we think can dramatically speed up all of the development processes in the end because it's reproducible and interchangeable what you have tested in your power pack, in your transmission, in your suspension components. You can find it here back again on full vehicle level. And the same here is true certainly for wheeled vehicles again. Um, we can offer here either a complete chassis dyno where you would have rollers um, uh, below each of these, of these wheels. Um, also here potentially with, with um, different surfaces or you have a standard wheel hub uh, configuration of the dyno um, where you can especially do high power testing. So to sum it up, all these different test benches on component system and full vehicle level um, are first of all automized by our own automation system. Um, you have an in potential interchange between these different testing levels and you have a direct link to your digital representation of your specimen to integrate digital twin models in these testing configurations. And this I think um, is a potential to close the gap between the simulation world where you need real world validation data and the real testing in the end. In this context, we are with our interfaces of the automation system also very um, compatible, compatible uh, to different measuring systems. So um, you can integrate different kinds of measuring systems which are available off the shelf, um, which you can use in field testing, but certainly also in test bench testing and have here also one commonality um, in your uh, system development. In general, by having um, a stringent line of component system and full vehicle testing, um, we can foster a very reproducible test run and a consistent um, row of test results, um, which makes it also easier to track down certain um, interdependencies of component systems and full vehicle um, behavior. And in this context, certainly you can also spare time, spare money, um, but also you have um, less um, unforeseen events like vehicle damages, um, some breakdowns of um, not reproducible environmental conditions. So you have here full control um, of what you do and full control of is your simulation system really representative to what you see later on in field testing because everything which you don't see on the test bench but which you see in the end in field testing is something where um, the where it's worth to dig deeper into the um, modeling of your specimen in the end and as I said all these different test benches are potential to integrate digital twin models um, of your specimen in order to have a very good representation of the complete system and a hardware or X in the loop um, representation of your um, test objectives. 
So that's a rough overview. Um, if you want to know more about that, um, we are available also in Hall 6 here on our rink booth. Um, and we are happy to show you more about our test systems itself and certainly answer your questions. If you have questions right now, I'm now here and ready to answer. Thank you for your attention.